going back in the store. Gotta do some separation. Oh, sick as a dog. Sale got me sick. I did a little bit of this video already. Um, my phone didn't take. Didn't uh, didn't turn the right way. So um, it's a repeat. Repeat. We'll do it a little different though. I think I'm just gonna sort, 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 and uh, organize, just get a little more room um, so I can process a little bit easier. Um, there's a little view, and then I'll uh, set you up on the, uh, in a good spot. I did a video of some of this stuff. most of the cameras more right here a couple of mineral stone chest sets machinist tools um, I think we got about 20 pairs of binoculars still gotta go through some stuff um, and I can do a quick talk about some of the stuff that I already talked about when the camera didn't flip I guess so we got we got a little separation going on here. Um, at least I can make this a little faster now. Um, so we got some like some conduit, machinist conduit. And we get the start punches. Uh, about fifty leather punches. We got these clamps separated, the machinist clamps. We get large, small, medium, and the star it. Um, one six one D, B, C, and A. There's a little bit of each. Um, a nice little bag of uh, oh, this one. This little bag of snap-on stuff right here so far. Might be a couple other uh, snap-on pieces. Um, I showed you guys this water cam in the other video. It didn't take. Um, it's like a chassis that's left. Um, there's like a cross here. Here. That bolted on. Or it was like casted on right there. So that snapped off. And they, there was a, um, a big light right here. Like an underwater light hooked up to this. Um, this is the... So, 1954 Aquacam. Um, no comps on this. That's good. Um, I, I saw an auction say 400 for one of these complete. So, I'm thinking chassis, maybe 50 bucks on this chassis. Something like that. We still got all this camera stuff we got to go through. Um separate binoculars cameras um, you saw the other video this is the bearings about a hundred bearings in there you got this nice more and right um, level I showed this in the video that didn't take this is a nice piece in the box that comps out like 30 to 50 bucks and uh the other video I showed this Waltner. This is a drill bit. No, it's not a drill bit. It's a um, it's a machinist um, milling bit. It's a UPA three slash four three three eight one K six one six one. Um, made in Germany. It's a big boy. We wouldn't want to be in the same room with this puppy running. Check out a video of this thing running. You'd be scared of this. It weighs about, I don't know, 10 pounds. It's very heavy. So, 
for these first set of three, tighten uh, probably the bolt, the, um, you know, whatever bit you're using. I saw an extension go into this um, with the bit hanging off the side in the video, but maybe that's what this one's for. I don't know. Um, it's a pretty badass piece. Um, I'm thinking 200, 300 bucks on this because this complete is uh, 2,000 if you want to buy it. They don't make it no more, so um, that's what it's fetching. That's what it goes for. So I'm thinking parts. We could strip it if we wanted to. I got these index plates. Those are uh, those are good. There's seven of them in there. Those comp out um, pretty good. These are from Machinist. When you, to my knowledge, um, if you're making a cut. You would set the machine somehow to take this index plate so that you can set the cut. So basically you need this for whatever machine you're using, whatever this machine's required for. I think that's for a milling milling machine. Um Yeah. And uh the stuff just keeps going. I mean, there's some some really good gems in here. Um, I just got to dig them all out and then uh, look some of the stuff up. Some of these tubes could be good. Um, some big ones in there. I thought I saw a 6v6 in there, or it was in there. Maybe there's a couple. Um, I got some good automotive books. And uh, more piles of just tools and gauges and stuff like that. So, I'm going to end this video and then set the camera up and uh, just start processing this as fast as I can. Separating it all. Um, get it into piles and way more organized. Like in a nice run. All organized in a run. And just start looking it up and uh i'll put stuff in baggies if i gotta and uh write its comp price what i would think i would charge i'll just analyze it all and put it in the bag put the numbers put some description on if i have to you know right i like to write the information on you know something i usually do a um a sheet I think these are different sheets over there um on the ground I do like a pre-sheet because um, sometimes I could do it in my car if I got the pictures um, on the phone I could do it in the car if I took the uh, the sheet so I know the description that way I'm not saying it's like good condition compared to uh, okay condition I like to be as thorough as I can so that uh, I don't have no qualms with the uh, buyer just try to keep it fair. Um, I don't pay a lot. I don't intend to overcharge anybody unless if it's like a really good piece. And that's what it goes for. But other than that, I just try to move the stuff and uh, find its uh, rightful owner, I guess. So we got piles of stuff everywhere. Um, we need more racks and shelving. Um, PS4 is getting crammed into the corner, so we need to just get a little more organized to get some overflow on the, uh, on the, um, picture table. I haven't taken a, I haven't listed anything in three days, way, four days, way too busy, but did make some pretty good sales over the weekend to, uh, compensate all, all of what was bought. I sold a... A book for 200 on eBay. Um, everything's eBay. It's no Amazon. Um, a book for 200 the 007 book. You might have saw that in a video. Look out for those. Um, the tubes. I had some tubes that I sold for about 200 Some binoculars. 
a um, couple video games, a couple, I think one heavy hitting master game, and uh, I think uh, one more of the sale. It was pretty good, pretty good weekend, firing it out. Um, obviously, I need my sales to be a little bit slower than that. Um, I'm supposed to only do one a day by the end of the year so that I'm not hitting over the 20,000 or the 200 listed. But, alright, till the next video, peace.